Hey guys, what is going on? This is Gahunda from the Irish era, and I am with Little Irish. And we are here for the first episode of our podcast, Great Games on Miserable Mondays, because we all know Mondays are miserable. And uh, we're here with our own original podcast series where we talk about gaming news updates, as well as other news just throughout the world and stuff, and we give our opinions on what we think about this. So we have many topics to talk about on today's episode to start off in our in our series. We have uh, WWE 2K15. We also have NBA 2K15, NHL 15, Grand Theft Auto 5, the Call of Duty franchise, and also most recent news: PewDiePie starting up his a new network. Anyways, the first thing I want to get into today is PewDiePie's network. So. Many know that PewDiePie is the most subscribed on YouTube, gets paid way too much money, but I, I'm not hating on him, I'm just saying gets paid a lot of money. Uh, for his young age, it's pretty ridiculous. How, like, he's one of, like, not, I don't want to say the richest man in the world, but he's pretty fucking rich for, like, a 22-year-old, I think. Anyways, uh, I'm going to have this article in the description below for you guys to check out yourself, but here I have to explain... In an interview with Icon Magazine, PewDiePie det- detailed his lackluster experience working with some of YouTube YouTube's largest networks. He was previous partnership was with Machinima, the go-to big-name network for gaming channels, and describes how, despite his massive success, they didn't they didn't even seem to know he existed. It was managed in such a terrible way, PewDiePie said. During the time I was a member of their network, I grew into the world's biggest YouTuber, and they didn't even know I was with them. They didn't get in touch a single time, except when I wanted to leave. Then their CEO emailed me once. Eventually, PewDiePie has to extract himself from one of Machinima's notoriously cumbersome contracts through legal action, and he then turned to sign with Maker Studios. The network recently scooped up Disney for $500 million. And still, he's not terribly thrilled with the experience, which has led him to describe he's going to probably try and make his own network, once his contract expires with Maker at the end of the year. Though he's not willing to say much about it yet. I'd rather not talk much about it. I'm in touch with a couple people who think... Sorry. Who think I would be so right for this. I'm eager to get all it all up and running. So far, all the networks have been managed in such an incredibly poor way. It's embarrassing, really. I'd like to help other YouTubers. So there you have it. That's PewDiePie's thoughts on his network that he will be starting. If you guys are unaware of what this means, this means that along with other networks such as Machinima, uh, obviously YouTube, like like YouTube paying YouTubers to do what they do, Machinima who pays net like uh, gets like contracts of gamers and stuff and pays them what to do. PewDiePie is looking to make his own Machinima, if you will, where he wants to acquire young and talented and potential YouTubers. Into, into his uh, network and get them big, which I think is a really good thing of him to do. I mean, that's like, like he's got that many subscribers, and for him to, for him to do that and um, help out the, the community and YouTube is very great of him. What do you think? Yeah, it's a uh, pretty good gesture he's doing. You don't see people like Smosh or any other high-profile people are people doing the same thing, so yeah, good, good on him. It's good that he's uh, sharing the wealth a bit. If you like, he's sharing the wealth of uh, his YouTube success and fame, if you will, and it's pretty good of him to do that. So, if you have any other questions or any other news, you can check out the article I will be posting in the description below about PewDiePie and his network he will be starting. Other than that, uh, if you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment below, and we'll get back to you ASAP about PewDiePie's network. Uh, yeah, it's basically it about PewDiePie. Uh, on to our next topic. I will let uh, Little Irish choose one out of our topics list we got here. Uh, let's start with NHL 15. Alright, so for NHL 15, we know it's been out for... Since when did it come out? September. Well, it's one, obviously one, but, but when in September? Oh, early. Like, early September. Like September 8th or something. So it came out about about a month ago-ish, like, give or take. And... uh. It came out about a month ago, and we are going to give out our reviews on next gen and current gen NHL 15. Oh, guys, we're actually going to take a quick break. Sorry for that, and uh, we'll be right back. Thanks for listening. Uh, but it'll be it won't be that quick of a break. You guys will just cut right to the next audio file. So yeah, we'll be right back.
Alright guys, we're back uh, from break, and um, starting off, this, the list will be Little Irish on the next topic. He will be talking about his opinion and review on NHL 15, Next Gen, and Current Gen. Ready, set, go. Alright, what's up guys? Um, for I'm a huge fan of the NHL 15 series. Uh, what I like to talk about for the... 360 PS3 versions, I don't really see a point of getting the game because the graphics are the exact same as NHL 14, NHL 13, you know, the list goes on and on. But the theme of NHL 15 oh. is not the game modes or anything like that, it's all about the graphics, how authentic it feels to play the game. It's ridiculous playing it, it's awesome, I love it. Uh, uh, I kind of want to interrupt you there and say, like, um, NHL 15 on, like, on, uh, Current gen, it looks it looks similar to NHL 14. I'll say that it looks like the graphics and everything, and just like the HUD. Uh, like in any in like a, in next gen, when you're playing, it really feels like like an actual game because the graphics are amazing. Like the like like the authenticity of the game is amazing, and like like I like how it has like NBC and all that cool stuff. That's pretty cool. And current gen doesn't have that. I mean, also, current gen does have all the game modes. I'll so give them that. GM connected, but I bet you they never. If, if they even do have GM connected, I don't know if they do. If they even do have GM connected, I bet you they never uh, like fixed it because I remember it always used to be so like so slow and like messed up. And uh, game and I and like I, the only thing I really like, and the only game mode I really like in NHL 15 in the current gen is uh, ESHL and GM connected. Other than that, I think we like. I think uh, current next gen's got current gen beat, you know. Yeah, uh, that's for sure. Uh, I'm a diehard Toronto Maple Leafs fan. Oh, if you're God. a Habs fan, don't just don't subscribe to us. If you're a Habs fan, please don't. Uh, yeah. So I guess you could like mix in my review with his on that one. Uh, so yeah, um, guys, we'll get back to the next uh, next topic. So yeah, give us a second, and we'll be back. Alright guys, once again, we're back, and for the final time, we will we'll probably not be taking any more breaks. The reason we took uh, this break right now is because I lost my phone, and my phone was the one that had all the topics on it, so sorry for that. But anyways, our next topic, I will choose, considering Little Iris just showed the last one. The next topic we will be talking about is the one we wanted to avoid, the Call of Duty franchise, and where it stands to this day. Oh my god. Call of Duty franchise, <laughs> man, it has be it has be <laughs> the, the Call of Duty franchise, ladies and gentlemen, has became the biggest piece of shit. It has gone from one of the greatest games I have ever played, which was it was Modern Warfare Two, uh, Call of Duty Four. Even World at War and Black Ops were the best games I ever played. Ghost. No, no. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't. He's one of those guys' people. Anyways, like I said, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare 2, uh, Black Ops, World Black at Ops 2. No, not Black Ops 2 either. That's, no, Black Ops 2 was really, actually Black Ops 2 is alright, I, I'll say. But like, yeah, games like, games like Black Ops, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare, even Modern Warfare 3 was kind of decent. But, they really started shitting the bed. Like, I don't know what they did. The only reason they started shitting the bed is because the new one coming out looks gay as fuck. I well, mean, Ghost, was, Ghost was shit, too. No, it wasn't. Ghost was shit. I yes, it was. Ghost. It was awesome. Ghost was not... Okay, and all the other Call of Duty games you played, how many times... Like, which comment game... Comment your opinion on which Call of Duty was your favorite. Okay, okay, but nobody's gonna comment Ghosts. Because Ghosts was probably where they started shitting the bed. Black Ops 2 was kind of, like, where they started, and then Ghost is where they fucking, like, people were like, oh my god, you are a piece of shit. No. Yes, Brody. No. I mean... They saying that when they saw the fucking trailer for Advanced Warfare, how gay it is. Like, they got I'd, fucking Transformers in this shit. Well, that's Titanfall. That's all Titanfall all over again. Titanfall got got some uh, sales, so now Call of Duty's trying to rub off of Titanfall's, Titanfall's sales. Anyways... So we're having like a bit of an argument discussion here, like a debate over fucking Call of Duty. Anyways, the the state that I think Call of Duty is in right now is they are in a lot of trouble. They really need they really need to do something because like the best Call of Duty game I've ever played was part of, probably Modern Warfare Two and Black Ops. Those two those two were the best. Wouldn't you say that? Uh, Ghosts and Black Ops Two. Oh my god, Black Ops. Those are the two that nobody likes, including myself. 
What? How do you not like the classic ones? Remember all those times where you'd play like Monofer 2 and everything? Okay, I, didn't, I didn't like Monofer 2. That was too much. Everyone overkilled it. Well, I loved it. I, I, I don't know. I think it was just... It could have been like... I mean, I mean, nowadays, it'd probably be like a shitty game, but like at the time, it was one of the greatest games I ever played. I was so hooked. And like, it's, it's, it's the simplest shit, and yet I'm so hooked to it. Like, like leveling up and killing people, and then once you've reached the destination of leveling up, then you just restart again. Like, what? Uh, I don't know if it's fun. Like, like, yeah, you get bright in your eyes with your prestige, but, like, what? Like, I don't get it. The concept is pretty gay. Yeah. Like, I don't know. It's, it is fun, but it gets repetitive, you know? It's, even It's fun killing trolls and shit or trolling people, whatever. Even, yeah. Like, like when it's you do... chirping people and saying, yeah, I'm gonna fucking kill you and then you kill them. That's the only part. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, bro. <laughs> but, like, Call of Duty, even, like, hmm... All I'm trying to say is Call of Duty is, like, the online gets very repetitive, even with all the game modes that they add, and, like, 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 yeah, you got a new game mode, it's not gonna, like, make, it's not gonna change online, you know, it's still gonna be repetitive. The thing that caught my eye the most in the, in the Call of Duty franchise was zombies. Black Ops 2 transit mode was probably, was, what's, like, a fun zombie thing to do. The best thing ever. Yeah, it was. I transit with transit was the only thing that made me like Black Ops too. You said you I, don't like it. You hypocrite. Oh my god, here we go. Black Ops two, I did not like the online zombies was pretty good. But yeah, I just think that zombies is the only thing keeping them alive. And like when Activision's when Activision came to do their game, which was Call of Duty Ghosts. Wait, was that Activision's or was that Infinity Wards? Oh no, that was that was Infinity Wards. Yeah. It, I mean, I have no idea. It's kind of confusing, but like, but like uh, ghosts, they added the extinction mode. That was not fun. Uh, the fuck that, is. that was like it was trying to like they were trying to do like, a zombie thing, but it didn't work. Like they're trying to like do like their own take on zombies, but I don't think it really didn't work. Black Ops Two was where I think I had the most fun with zombies. But anyways, before we even get carried, because we could probably like do a whole debate on Call of Duty franchise right now. Final thoughts, where 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 do you stand with uh, Call of Duty right now, where do you think? Growing up, Call of Duty was the shit. I agree. If you have it, you were gay as fuck, you were a loser, but, uh, I loved it. I loved all the Call of Duties up till Advanced Warfare, I'm not getting it, I don't care if you suck my dick, I'm not getting this game, uh, they really disappoint me on this one. Okay, well, you never know, but I don't think it'll be a good game either. Just because, like, they're, they're trying to do a ripoff of Titanfall, I think. Just by looking at the trailer. But you never know. But, uh, it seems like, it seems like they don't really put a lot of time into, into their games as much as other games developers do, you know? Yeah. Like, uh, the best game, the, the best game developers to this day is obviously 2K games, I'd say, in my opinion. Yeah, 2K. Like, like they, it seems like they really care about their, uh... Their, their, yeah, their, their fans and, like, their customers. Speaking of 2K, let's get into that. NBA 2K15 releasing tomorrow. What are your thoughts on just like like like? And First of all, I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm a white guy, so I don't like basketball. And yes, I can't play it. Like, well, uh, obviously. You're, how tall are you? Five foot seven. I'm there you 18 go. Eighteen years old. Yeah, five foot seven, eighteen years old. Not a basketball guy. I'm, I'm like 130 pounds. So. Yeah. Me on the other hand, I am what five foot eight. No, you're like five ten. Five. 5'10", and, like, 120, so I am not a basketball player either. But, the, am I a fan of the league? No. No, not really. I'm I not can't a... watch it, I can't play it. I, I, I don't like video, I like the video game. The only video game I ever got in NBA was 2K14, because they're celebrities, and I like to beat the shit out of Beaver. But, uh... I think it was 2K13. Oh, whatever, I don't know why. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I think it was 2K. When oh. Beaver was in the celebrity team, oh my god. Yeah, what a joke. But, uh... Okay, that was the last one I got, and then I sold it. But, uh, I don't care. Like, 2K15, yeah, they have a face scammers. That's cool. Good for them. But I believe it, I don't give a shit that it's not going to let me get the game. I don't care. It's not worth the uh, $900 to get it. Oh, $900. Okay. $80, whatever. Same shit. I think NBA 2K15, if you are a fan of the NBA franchise, you were probably about to, like, come within, like, the few hours. I'm sorry for, like, the fucking 18 plus, like, conversation I'm having right now, but. You will probably orgasm. You're probably orgasming, orgasming, orgasm, orgasming over like the next few hours, waiting for like that final minute. Because like, if you're a fan of the NBA 2K15, wouldn't you like? Wouldn't you be fucking like stoked right now? Nope, I'm not a fan. Okay, exactly. He's just like he's just like 
He's fucking stubborn as fuck. But if you're a fan of the NBA, NBA series, you must be like so hyped right now. The face scans they had, holy shit! Like, like even though you're not a fan, like that was crazy. Eh? Like, like that looked really cool. No. Nope. All right. Okay, so I may have lied when I said we won't be taking any more breaks. It's not that. Uh, it's not that um we intended to take a break. So one was um forced. Shit keeps happening. Yeah, forced was upon us. This podcast just feels like it. It keeps getting interrupted with phone calls and sh- shit. All right, like we want to film a pod. We want to like record a podcast. Hey, let's let's decide to call them, right? Yeah. Anyway, so we were talking about NBA Two K Fifteen. Final thoughts. Don't be fucking a stubborn piece of shit. Give us your final thoughts on NBA Two K Fifteen for the okay. release. Okay, it'll probably be a good game for all the NBA fans, but there's no way in hell I'm getting it. Me, on the other hand, maybe in the future, not like not like within this month, not within November, and we'll get into why, like, with this next topic. Oh, sorry. The next topic, and the uh, second last topic we'll be talking about here on Great Games on Miserable Mondays, is WWE 2K15, the game. Now, this game has got to be, I'm a big, like, Little Irish here, he's a big fan of the NHL franchise. Me, on the other hand, I'm a big fan of the WWE Games franchise. And when I see a developer, like, my favorite developer is 2K, even before they took on WWE. So, when I see a developer like 2K take on WWE, and, like, because, like, last year, like, it was rushed, like, when they, um, when they bought out, uh, THQ. So, like, they had to rush in 2K14, so it wasn't that well done. But I knew that, that 2K15 would be even better, and holy shit, it looks like it's going to be better. The graphics are already make up for it. Never mind with all the new match types they're adding. All the new game modes. Uh, like, My Career. Oh my god. I remember telling Little Irish that if they had like a My Career like this in NHL or in WWE, wouldn't that be awesome? Remember that? Yeah, I And then it came out, and it was like, holy shit, like, actually that is awesome. So, like, it looks really cool. It's like, there's a bunch of articles on it. If you, I'll probably get a link about them. Um, some W2K15, like, uh, My Career articles. Basically, what happens is, like, it's like, you start off in NXT, and, like, instead of wanting to win matches, you have to entertain the crowd, whether that being with new moves, like, uh, like, like if you keep u- using the same moves and winning your matches, no one's, like, like you're not going to get, like, a pay-per-view card, or, like, nothing's going to happen. Like, you want to entertain the crowd. If you're, like, a heel, which is, like, a bad guy in, like, WWE talk, if you're a heel, then you want to entertain the crowd by doing a dirty move. Or, like... Firing them up as a good guy, you know? Stuff like that. Um, what are you most excited for for 2K15, and will you get it? Uh, will I get it? Okay. First of all, I like WWE. Not for the same reason that he does, but I like to play the story or blah, blah, blah. I like to do universe mode. I like the more play with people in the same household or something. Like, have, like, a land party and, like, like, just everyone kicked the shit of each other. That's fun. That's like, one of the best things about WWE 2K. Like, I mean, WWE in general. WWE games. That's, like, theme of the game night for us. When we have game nights, we invite everyone, and everyone plays WWE. It's so much Yeah, fun. yeah. We have, like, four people, like, like, the maximum amount playing WWE with us. And, like, honestly, every time it's fun. Every time. It's a load of fucking fun. So, uh, am I pun for it? Yes, I am. Am I gonna get it? Maybe not right away, because as always, as in thrown up, uh, money's really tight, but, uh, WWE, I can't wait for it, it's gonna be fine, the most thing I'm pumped for is universe mode, and with the new game, like, the new, uh, match types, I'm hoping for a triple threat or fatal four a tag team, uh, that's what I'm, like, biggest on, um, what else? You see, like, uh, like, Little Irish here, he's a lot, he's, like, like, think about us like this. He's a big fan of, like, game modes like BGM, where you're a manager or something. I am, too. I, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of that stuff, too. But he is... But I am a fan of, like, game modes like Be a Pro and stuff like that. Creatives and stuff. Yeah, and, like, creations and stuff. He doesn't like, like, all that stuff. Like, like we're opposites in that kind of stuff. But all, it's not like I'm saying I hate universe mode or anything. But, um... So, yeah, like, one of the biggest things is, like... I think universe mode is another thing, like... It's a big fan favorite, and they're gonna. I think they're gonna add like have a bunch of new additions for that and such. Like I think that's gonna be like another thing that they'll be uh, working hard on, as well as um, community creations, which is another like big feature that that, that uh, people like. Overall, two K fifteen. I am pre-ordering it. I am getting it the day of, and I'm gonna play the shit out of it. 
like actually in general, because we are talking about like upcoming games a lot. What is your like like uh, like like is there any upcoming games that you're most excited for and that you will be getting? Uh, not exactly. No, I'm not really pumped for anything. I wasn't really pumped for until fifteen. But, well, uh, we were, but then when we heard about the news that Next Gen wouldn't have like a draft and be a GM and like didn't have all the game modes, we were kind of pissed. But we ended up getting it anyways, and it's like I'm glad we did because it's so fun, you know. Yeah. And it, plus, they're adding the draft in that content pack, so that's pretty cool. But yeah. Probably cost fucking fifty dollars a get, but whatever. <laughs> I know. On to the uh, last topic: our review on Grand Theft Auto Five. Oh god. Why'd you say oh god? Just fucking Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto Five has to be game of the year, I think. For game of the century. Yeah, Grand Theft Auto Five is great. Like, I think personally that they built it up into something that it wasn't. Like, like they built it up like it was gonna be the best game ever, and it it it's fucking good. But it is the best game ever. It is. It is. It is. But like, like they built it up to be better than it was. But I'm still like not not like disappointed. I was like, whole like the story mode, the online, everything was great about it. Like it was on point, everything. And the only thing that pisses me off sometimes was online. It was like where they announce things like, oh, we're gonna have heists. Like, in the trailer that they announced that. Yeah. And, um, they haven't even released Heist yet, and it's been almost a year since the game release. And that kind of pisses me off. Another thing that pisses me off is, like, they announced other stuff, like, oh, you can buy your own house, you can get dogs, you can have pets and stuff, and online. And they haven't released any of that stuff. They haven't really, like, done any of that content. But, you know what, they're still being active with their, like, fans, and I think it's really good that what they're doing, and, like, that they're actually doing, like... I, I get that they are taking a lot of um, time. I know I know they need time, but uh, it's cool that they're still making content packs like the clothes and all that stuff. That's good. Who gives a shit about clothes? Well, not even just like clothes. a button naked GTA for good. Not even the clothes. I mean, like the like the vehicles and stuff like that. But uh, what are your like? Uh, what are your, what's your final review on the missions and the uh, GTA Online? All I, right. Well, first things first. I GTA 5 on the 360, and it's so much fun. I loved it. I played missions. I played online. I loved it. It was so much fun. But then all of a sudden, like, I got an Xbox One, and it wasn't out. So I kind of just lost interest and lost, lost my connection with GTA, so I don't really remember playing much of it. So um, now it's coming out for Xbox One. That's probably the only game I might get. Yeah, I forgot about that. I will be getting GTA Five next time, which I think actually comes out this month. You know oh, that? Sweet. I mean, November. November. I think comes out November. Sweet. That's pretty sweet. But um, but yeah, I loved it. I loved everything about it, and I can't wait to get it. Okay, so with everything we have talked about in this episode, obviously we can't like rate feel like um PewDiePie's thing. But out of all the other things, we're gonna go we're gonna go one by one and give a final ten out of ten and. Um, out of 10 rating for all these video games. Uh, so, out of 10, NHL 15. Let's hear it. Uh, let's go... In general, in general. 8. 8 out of 10? I would say about a 5. Great eight game. Five. Or a 6. Or a 6. A great game, but they it feels like it was rushed. They could have done better. WWE 2K15. Well, obviously, we can't really say anything about that. I guess, like, um... For me, it, it's, a, it's like a big thing for me, so I'd say 10 out of 10, even though I hasn't even played it yet. I'd say 7. Okay. And uh, NBA, we can't really... Like, I think what all the effort they're putting into that game, kudos to them. Holy shit. I'm not an NBA fan, though, but kudos to them. I give them... I give... This is not the game. This is 2K. I give 2K a 10 out of 10 for NBA 2K15. What about NBA 2K15? That's what I'm talking about. No, you just gotta break the game. Oh, okay. Well, the game... If I get it, I will tell you guys then, but really, right now, I have no clue. I say one of them. Yeah, what a fucking dipshit. Um, what else do we have? Call of Duty. Negative five. Yeah, step up your game, guys. Anyways, that was it for Good Games on Miserable Mondays. Next, like, this this will probably be... I forgot, off. You forgot GTA, but... Where we... Okay, well, GTA 10 on 10. We, they already yeah, knew that. Yeah. Um, you forget... You guys, uh... Another thing that we'll be doing on, on good games on Miserable Mondays is we also be doing like other reviews, like movies and stuff. Like we'll be talking about a lot of topics. Make sure to stay followed. Click the subscribe button to stay up to date with all your gaming news, tutorials, and many more. Thanks, guys, for watching. Leave leave a uh, 
if you if you have any topics you want us to talk about, leave it in the comment section below. This has been Great Games on Miserable Mondays. One last thing, this will probably be up by Tuesday on, on Tuesday, so next week we'll be recording it for Sunday and but having it up for Monday. Just to let you guys know. So sorry about this time, but um yes, great games on Miserable Monday. Subscribe, like, comment. Thanks again.